if you look at America, uh, there are 62% of American population is clinically obese. Yeah? Yeah. In India, 62% population would be uh, undernourished clinically, I'm sure. And now, of course, we have obesity also growing up in India because Michelle Obama is, with, uh, is pushing the, the food sector out. You know, she is now going, launching a campaign, she launched a campaign uh, for, um, you know, child obesity. So she is saying that all these food, food companies, food giants should be out. And those companies are getting investing in India now. India is welcoming them because our GDP goes up. Mm. Nobody is questioning the relationship of food with GDP. And since, I, since you asked me, sir, uh, you know, the global way of increasing GDP is very interesting. Food is the fundamental reason for the growth of, uh, the, the kind of growth that you are seeing. Why and how? <coughs> you are, we are investing in food. We are making the food deliberately or contaminating it, making it unhealthy. Well, that's, the moment you do that, because now we are in the era of fast food, junk food, processed food, all those things. More investment into that means you will require more medical support. So the hospitals, the pharmaceuticals, that grows. So more GDP. More the medicines you buy, the GDP grows up still. And then there is another issue, the more the health expenses go up, more these insurance grows also. So these are the three sectors. You know, food, medical and insurance, they work in tandem. And you'll be surprised, the insurance industries are pumping in $2 billion into the stocks of the food markets. Look at it. Why should the insurance companies be pumping in money into the food companies, the stock market of the food companies? It's very clear because that's what they want. You know, and uh, the more the food is spoiled or is unsafe, the more, I think, the question that, oh, we are healthy. Look at it, look at, uh, you know, uh, 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 families around you. You will find that every second man is living on medicine. You know, your child is born, he is suffering from diabetes from day one and he lives all through his life uh, with, on medicine. And that's what some, some uh, uh, sensible doctor said one day and I quote him often. He said, actually we have learned the art of keeping a sick population alive for long. I think it was so true. You know, the, ex the medical industry or the health industry has, has really, uh, you know, invested so much to keep us alive by, by all those medicines that we have to do. Now,